Divine Feminines, hi. Okay, let's see what's going on with you all, okay? I'm hearing this very clearly. Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> I'm hearing, should I stay or should I go? If I stay, then there'll be trouble. And if I don't, then there'll be double. I don't know how that song goes, really, but, you know, besides the rock band I used to play, like, back in college. <laughs> used to tear rock band up. But that's the only part I know. Should I stay or should I go now? <laughs> If I stay, then there'll be trouble. If I don't, then there'll be double. So you've been getting too many readings, Divine Feminines. I will say this, and I know y'all are watching me doing a reading right now. But I will say that a lot of you all have been doing watching too many collective readings. You need to find a Divine Love reader that really knows how to read love energy. Because a lot of people are confusing you. They're going to be like, oh yeah, you got new love coming. Oh yeah, you got uh, somebody else is coming in. Or they'll say, stick with this person. Or if I was you, I would leave them. Whatever the case may be. Divine Feminine, it is really up to you. Your Divine Masculine is going to have to make a choice. They can't straddle the fence anymore. So you have to make a choice. And make a choice based on your love as well. Not only your love for them, but your love for self. This, this decision has to be made about self as well, okay? And it's okay to choose yourself. Because the Divine Masculine needs to learn to choose their self. The only reason why they're in a karmic situation is because they're not choosing themselves. And once they choose themselves, then they'll make the decision to leave because they're unhappy. Let's just keep it above. They are unhappy, okay? So, with that being said, let's, let's see what's going on with Divine Feminines, okay? I just hear just a lot that's going on. I hear y'all just talking about it with your friends and family members. Y'all, y'all gotta chill. Y'all are only confusing yourself further. Because you're trying to figure out, are they going to come back? Sometimes people can read new love, I mean, new energy, and be like, oh, new love is coming your way. And sometimes it can be your masculine who's changed because their energy has changed. So that's a new person coming your way because they have evolved. So be careful on those readings. Nobody ever considers it like that unless you're a divine love reader. New love might be this person renewed, 2.0, 3.0 version of himself, okay? The energy shifts every day, every second of the day. Just letting you know. What's the situation for Divine Feminine Father? Teach. It's time to teach the lessons of this love, okay? You've learned a lot of lessons. Now you're in the position to be teaching. You're no longer the student <laughs> in this love connection. You are no longer the student. You've learned a lot from this journey. That's what Father's saying. You are capable now of teaching others what real love looks like. Even if it's self-love. Even if you got to go out and say, okay, well, let me table this right now or you know let them get their life together put my focus on teaching others about what it's like to really have divine love and what it's like to feel love for yourself unconditionally you might love somebody to the top of their head to their toes but you gotta love yourself even more so that's what you need to be teaching 555 may be important as well like i said positive changes are happening and these changes sometimes transformations that happen they're not always fun but I always call them positive changes. These are transitions that happen, transformations. 555 five, five means that. But I always say positive because even if you don't see it happening for your highest good, it is happening for your highest good. Action, what's the action? Go with the flow. You might be seeing the number 1010. 10. Like I said, Wheel of Fortune. This is the Wheel of Fortune card. Somebody's dealing with karma right now. They're getting their karma. You're living throughout your life cycles and your karma. Somebody's closing out a cycle, just go with the flow. You might be closing out a cycle as well. Go with the flow of life. And all of it, look at all that water. It's emotional. All of it is emotional. When you close doors, it feels like, oh my gosh. But don't worry because Father always opens the doors that are necessary. Even if he got to open a window, look. I'm a testimony. I can tell you that he will open doors for you, even if he has to close another one. So those transitions have to happen in order for you to have a positive outcome. What's the outcome here? Look, we got healing begins. Look, and look, it looks like she's either closing something or walking into something new. And the heart chakra is resonating with the heart. You're gonna find the person that resonates with your heart. And I see the Divine Masculine is activating their heart. It's activated, it's open. If you've been longing for them, they've been longing for you. And look at that coming together, boom. Bottom of the deck is sadness and isolation, so you might not just feel alone. You feel lonely, and your masculine feels the same, but they're trying to listen to higher self. Sadness and isolation, but some of that energy is not your energy. Some of that energy is them. And look, this card just fell. Rebuild. This is a tower moment that, that happened. It had to happen. It had to be broken down in order to be built again. Rebuild. That's the tower in the regular tarot. Rebuild, okay? 
but you're sad right now, okay? But you're gonna get recognized for your efforts, whatever it is, even if it's new love coming in, whatever it is, you're gonna get recognized for your efforts because you've been putting up a good fight during this journey. You've been learning, you've been closing cycles, you've been, you know, it took a while for you to start going with the flow, but you, you're finally at the point of acceptance. A lot of you are. Give me a tarot card here. Oh, the five of pentacles. This is how you feel because your masculine feels like this, left out in the cold. I just saw this, this just, I mean, it's so crazy how y'all's connection really connects. Look at this, that's the same card, the five of pentacles that was in Divine Masculine's reading. If you haven't seen that, check that out. It's the video right before this. This is wild. Okay, Five of Pentacles is how y'all both feel. And one of y'all did truly get abandoned, but y'all both feel left out in the cold because y'all resonate energy. Regardless of how far you are, if y'all are talking or not talking, this is how y'all are feeling. Sad. Sadness right now. And I'm feeling like this is Divine Masculine. Regretful. I told you, I'm feeling like this is Divine Masculine. They're feeling alone, so it's got you feeling alone. It's got you feeling sad and isolated. And feeling like, wow, like, you know, nobody's around. Even in a room full of people. Excuse me. Confirmation. Missy, what's a hidden energy you want to tell your master? What's hidden here? From Divine Feminine. I look for you everywhere. Wow. That's a powerful message. You look for them everywhere. You pay attention to the signs. I'm seeing, I'm seeing that this is not like you actively looking for them. I'm seeing that you're seeing so many signs, so many signs of their returning. You're like, okay, but when? I'm seeing that for you, Divine, Ma uh, Divine Feminine. I'm seeing that completely for you. And your masculine is doing the same. That's why y'all are looking for each other. Y'all are yearning for each other, longing to be with each other in each other's arms every night, waking up to each other every day. Y'all look for each other because this is the energy y'all are both in. Wow. That's that's real deep, y'all. One second. Sorry, Divine Feminine, that card flew, okay? But we got karmic ties again. This is somebody releasing karmic ties. This is why this needed to happen today. This real big reading needed to happen. Because it says, I'm assessing past life wisdom. It's helping me understand things from a new perspective. That's what Divine Masculine is doing. They're, they're tapping into what divine love truly even means, okay? You might be seeing 11-11. They may be seeing 11-11. Those are signs that y'all are getting closer and closer to the end, okay? I just, like I said, man, I can't stress this enough. This is going to be called, um, what did I say? The, the final round. This is the final round. This is the final go around. You don't have to worry about it anymore. What would you like to tell your master? Who that jumped up? I know that you want to treat me right. And that's what they're saying. This is all about money right now. Pentacles is what they had as well. This is pentacles. This is somebody really worried and stressed over finances, feeling like they can't provide for you, wanting to provide more for you. And this is you saying, I know that you can treat me right. I know you want to. I know you want to come in and, you know, give me all that you can. But for right now, I'm saying that it, there needs to be some more love here, okay? Your person needs love. Love, 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 okay? And right underneath here, let's see what we got. Why not need dedicated effort? It's intuition. Listen. Listen to your intuition. Stop listening to other people around you. Just go within for your answers. This is all about releasing karmic ties and your person releasing them. And you got to just trust that. You got to stay positive in your mind. Okay? That's what I have for you. Let's go to the next video. Thank you so much.